Well, we do want to get you updated on the weather. You said at the top of the show, it, it's looking real dicey tomorrow. Yes, and we're going to be really concerned with any storm that develops by itself okay. um, in the warm part of this weather system that we're tracking. And speaking of warm, we do think temperatures will climb close to 70. We're at 60 now. We've been holding steady for the last several hours, and that will be the case overnight. Winds southeast at 6. Today's high 61, our low this morning 43. You can see that warmer air starting to work its way north and east. It's up to 68 in Evansville but only 48 in Chicago. So you can see the dramatic temperature difference. And we've got a couple of frontal boundaries to be concerned with during the day tomorrow. Any storm that develops ahead of the cold front, which we'll analyze in just a second, has the potential to rotate. So we can't rule out isolated tornadoes with this severe storm risk on Sunday, an enhanced risk for severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center. We will get some new information from the Storm Prediction Center first thing tomorrow morning, and Kelly will We'll have it for you at 6 a.m. On our scale of 1 to 5, the enhanced risk is a 3. In play, damaging winds, large hail. We think later tomorrow night, this will turn into a heavy rain event that could lead to some flooding. Lightning will be an issue, and again, we can't rule out tornadoes. We're going to be concerned with any individual storm that develops in the warm part of this weather system, and that would be during the early half of tomorrow into tomorrow afternoon, early evening. Anything that develops ahead of the main line. That main line of storms will start to form during the evening hours. This is 5 p.m. That line of storms will then start to work its way south from Peru, Marion, Lafayette into Crawfordsville, Noblesville, and Greencastle by 7 p.m. tomorrow. It will continue to work its way south. This is when flooding will become an issue with heavy rain possible. This will continue through 11 p.m. before the weather system itself begins to shift to the south. That will happen happen by 2 a.m. on Monday morning. Tomorrow is going to be a day to stay weather aware. Check back with us. We will have you covered from start to finish on a stormy Sunday. We do get to 70 degrees. Any storm that develops, we will analyze closely, especially those individual storms that develop ahead of that main line during the daytime hours tomorrow. 55, it'll be cooler on Monday. Cooler still on Tuesday, 48. We'll spend a good part of next week dry with some sunshine, but much cooler with high temperatures only in the 40s, and that starts on Tuesday.